Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to create a date formula resource in Flow Builder. So if you've been wondering how to do that or you wanna learn more, this is the video for you. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week and let's just jump into this video. All right, for this example here, we're gonna be creating a record trigger flow, but for this formula resource, you can use it for screen flows or a scheduled trigger flow, many different types. So it doesn't really matter, but for this example, it's gonna be a record trigger flow. And before we get started, I'll show you the fields that we're working with. Now this right here is the SLA expiration date. I've created a new field called contact about SLA and I want this field to be populated with the date 30 days prior to this one. Think of this as contact contract expiration date, right? We want to contact this account 30 days prior and that's what we're going to create this formula resource for is to calculate that date whenever these account records are um, updated. So we're going to go into flow builder and we're going to set this to the account object because that's the object we're working with and we're going to set this to created or updated and we're just going to let it run every time. There's no entry criteria for this and we're going to hit done. All right, perfect. So now let's go ahead and create this formula resource. So let's go into our toolbox and we're gonna hit new resource. Under resource type, you're gonna select formula. Now for API name, you can call this whatever you like. I'm gonna call this SLA underscore formula. And for data type, it's gonna be date. As you can see, there's a bunch of other options like text and number, but we're working with a date field. Now for the formula, this is um, kind of the meat and potatoes of the video. For the formula, we're going to select insert a resource and you're going to select the record that triggered the flow and just type in SLA. Now we want the expiration date minus 30. So basically we're looking at 30 days before the expiration date that is on the account. Let's check the syntax and we got a valid check mark. Now if you wanted to add days, you do a plus sign, maybe plus 60, 28 you know, whatever you want, but for this situation, it's gonna be minus 30. We're gonna hit done. Now we're ready to go ahead and add in a new element. We're gonna update the record that triggered the flow, and we'll just call this update account, something simple, and use the account record that triggered the flow is what we're gonna, the setting we're gonna use here, and no filter criteria, and for field, type SLA, and you're setting the value that you want the flow to populate. So contact about SLA is our new field that I created. And this value, you're going to look right under this formula section. And there it is. That's the SLA formula we created. Go ahead and hit save. And we'll hit done. Now let's save our flow. And we'll call this uh, SLA. And we'll hit save. All right, let's run a debug on that. And we'll run it when it's created. The account I was looking at was the Burlington Text House Corp. And we'll hit run. And we had no error messages that came across, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and activate this flow. And let's test it out. So now I'm going to edit this SLA expiration date. Let's change that date to the, let's see here, set, uh, October 30th and hit save. And yep, looks like our flow ran. So 30 days prior is September 30th. Perfect. So now we'll go in and let's just change it to, I don't know, November 15th and hit save. And as you can see, the field changed. Obviously you would, you know, mark this as a read only field, but this is an example of how to get the formula resource to work. So formula resources uh, for dates are very powerful, especially if you're wanting to calculate maybe um, today's date, like minus 15, I've used that in real world scenarios for formulas where you're looking at, um, you know, 15 days prior, maybe you want to have uh, a date field populated for a future date from today. Um, then you could do that as well. And I'll show you that really quickly, uh, how you could do that. You could do type in today with open parentheses, close parentheses, plus 15. 
you can check your syntax and we can actually uh, save this and it'll populate uh, the field 15 days from today. But that's how you can use the today formula in your date field as well. In the future, I may do some more videos on date formulas and just formulas in general for Salesforce flow. So if you like that sort of video, make sure you leave a like so I know to make that video in the future. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.